Construction on the new Children's Museum starts next week and should be completed by early 2015. Exciting news there. 7.35 in the morning. Let's check in now with Mike. I'm going to take it, Sarah, right now. That's okay, though. <laughs> hey, uh, today we are talking with Stuart Welch in our Money Tuesday segment, and uh, he is our uh, financial expert today. Stuart, good to see you. Good morning. Mike just got beautiful. <laughs> yeah, more <laughs> fall, aren't Thank you smooth? You. You are smooth. All right, so um, we're talking about our IRAs and how, um, in some cases, you can overfund them. Now, on the outset, Stuart, I'll say it's a nice problem to have because if you're overfunding, you are making at least six figures as it an is. income, right? It is. For uh, This is particularly a Roth IRA. So mm -hmm. a lot of people are investing in a Roth IRA, and they like to get their money in early in the year. Mm -hmm. And if you're a single filer, you begin to get phased out of the ability to contribute to a Roth at $114,000, and you're fully phased out at $129,000. So what happens if you're overfunding? So if you're overfunded and you don't fix it, the mm -hmm. federal government pro imposes a 6% excise tax. Ouch. Yeah, and so people want to avoid that. And so uh, I had a, a reader mm -hmm. uh, ask me the question, if I overfund, how do I get out of it? All right, there's, so there's let's four walk us through it. Four quick things. Okay. The first thing is you can reverse the transaction, but you must do it before the filing of your tax return, including its I extensions. So you, you undo it. You go to the brokerage firm and say, you know, I couldn't do this and undo it, and they give you your money back. Second thing is you could convert it to a non-deductible IRA, which doesn't have any income limitations. Okay. And then the third thing is you could obviously wait until the end of the year and you know where you're going to be income-wise. And you actually have until you file your tax return the next year in order to actually make the contribution. So you could wait. Okay, and the final one is, is pretty interesting. It's a secret strategy, mm -hmm. and uh, not many people know about it. This one of my partners, uh, Hugh Smith, uh, discovered this. But what you what you do is you take your existing IRA and you roll it up into your 401k so that you don't have any IRAs. So, and you can do that. You, most plans will allow okay, you to do okay. that. And then the next thing you do is you invest in a non-deductible IRA for which there are no income limitations. Okay. And then you immediately convert to a Roth IRA for which you can do without any income limitations. So it allows you to kind of circumvent the rules. <laughs> the government makes you jump through a bunch of hoops, but you can circumvent the rules and then get a full deduction to a, uh, a Roth IRA with, without regard to income right, and, limitations. And if that confuses you, you can ask someone else yeah, and they'll walk you, walk you through it because that's a lot of information. All right, we're going to wrap up quickly with, uh, you had an interesting question about a guy who was getting married yep. and concerned about separate incomes and debt. Yeah, he was. And so uh, this was not a young 20-year-old couple. This was an older couple. And uh, they came in and both, some of them had debt, some of them had assets. And he says, what do I do? How do I deal with this? And what I encourage him to do is a prenuptial agreement. So It's I, not romantic, it but. It is not sexy, but it is part of the business of marriage, particularly when you're older and have assets and, in this case, liabilities. They also, he wanted to make sure that if something happened to him, she got use of his assets. He's going to need wills to do that. He needs to make sure he changes his beneficiary for his retirement accounts and life insurance and so mm -hmm. forth. All right, so to walk through Get those. Help. Get N help. Not the romantic part of getting married, but necessary in many cases. Stuart Welch, great to see you. Thanks, Janet. Okay. All right, uh, we'll take a break. We'll be right back after these messages.